Hello and welcome back to another web development video. Today I'm just covering recursion in JavaScript and comparing that to a for loop. I just want to cover this at a very high level and give you a quick intro to what recursion is uh, to help try to explain it and as well as to use it to do the exact same thing as a for loop. So I want to use recursion and a for loop to solve the exact same problem. So to start out, I'll just explain what recursion is. All it is, it's pretty simple. It's just a function that can call itself. And the big trick to recursion is that it has to have a guard clause. A guard clause is a place where the recursive function tells itself, stop calling yourself. So all it is is that of recursion, all it is is a function that can call itself and at some point inside of there, it just needs to tell itself, okay, you're done now. That's all it is. It's pretty simple. You can do a lot of really cool things with it, but the explanation of it, I think hopefully is pretty clear there. Um, so what I'll do here first is I'll run through and uh, a for loop here and just print out some letters for you. And then I'll do this exact same thing. Console log out some letters using recursion. And I'll start out with covering uh, everything in here in case you aren't as familiar with for loops. Uh, I'll just start out and go through this step by step. So all we're doing up here is we're declaring an array. And inside of that array at position zero, we have A, position one, we have B, position two, we have C, and position three, we have D. This array at length is only four. And you can see it just const logs up four. So it's only four there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass in this array to the for loop when we call that. And you can see it just printed out loop A, loop B, loop C, and loop D. So look, it's great, that's working. So first thing when we call this function is we're passing in this array right here. So we pass in the array into the function and in our for loop, we are declaring i to be equal to zero, initializing i, and then we are checking to see if i is less than the input array here, the array dot length. So is zero less than four? Yes, it is. And then increment i. So as it goes through here, the first thing it's gonna do is print out loop, and it's gonna print out input array zero because i is zero right now. And right here, you can see that that is a, so it's gonna log out A. And then from there, it's just gonna do the same thing. And now I is one, is one less than input array dot length. Yes, input, we're gonna console log out loop plus input array, which is the array at position one, which is B and so on and so forth. So this will pretty simply log out A, B, C, and D. So if we're gonna solve this with recursion, then first thing we need to do, and actually let's make sure we comment this out, otherwise it's gonna to wanna to talk to us again in the console. We can clear the console right there. And we can move down here. And uncomment out our function call and see that it recursively prints out A, B, C, D, and end of loop. So what this is doing right here, it's passing in the exact same array that we had above. So that array was A, B, A, B, C, and D. So we're passing that in and we have to declare I zero inside, uh, inside here. So we call the function, pass that in and pass in I zero as well. So we're passing in that array above and I setting I to zero. So first thing we're checking is see is i less than array dot length is zero less than that array up there, which is length is four. Yes, it is. So we don't need to do any of this. It skips it. So is i if i greater than that? Sorry, I might have said less than there. I don't remember now. But if i is greater than the array dot length, then we go through this. i is not greater than or equal to the array dot length. i is zero right now. And that array dot length is four. So we skip all of this and we come down here and we print out recursive plus array, whatever I is. Well, I, as we just mentioned, is zero. So it's gonna print out A right here. 
And then from there, it's going to, we're going to call ourselves again, the function name is recursion or recursive. So it calls itself again. And what we need to do here is we need to pass in that array again. That array is A, B, C, D. And iterate, or not iterate, but increment I. So add one to I every single time we call. So now when we go back up into here, we're passing in the array. Okay, now I is one. So plus one, zero plus one is one. Is one greater than a rate on length? No, skip all this. Come down here, print out recursive plus array. And I is one, like we just mentioned. So the place in the array now is the is one, which is B. And then from there, we go to the next line and we call recursive again. We pass in the array again, do the same thing. One plus one is two. So, or I should say one plus one is two up here at the top. So we have <clears throat> array. And from there, we're at two is two greater than the right? No, it's not. So we do the whole thing until we get to where I is equal or greater than the array dot length. And at this point, it would be four, which when we get to that point, we've counted up, we've added I enough and printed out everything in here. We're going to console log out end of loop and return. This is just the guard clause. This right here just tells us when to stop. That's all that is. So I will come down here a little bit. Actually, let's go and let's make sure we comment that out. Then I'll show you generally what a lot of recursion is going to be used for is uh, it's on trees. And you can see down here, we have a tree. Let's make this a little bit separate so you can see it. And let's clear this out so you don't have to look at that. So you can see down here, we have a tree and this tree has a bunch of child uh, children in it, and every child has a name. So the names are A, B, C, D, and you can see that A has zero children, B has a couple ch uh, children here, uh, E has one child, and we can fix that right there. And you can see pretty simply here that this would be pretty hard to loop through with a for loop and the reason is is because we don't know how deep this goes this could go we could have a child here you can see b already has children uh c and d and these can have their own children and then so on and so on and so on and we could just have a ton of children it's really hard to loop through that because you just don't know how go how deep it goes so what you want to do is you want to use recursion here to loop through this and the way this works and I'll show you down here. Let's uncomment this so we can get our logs. So you can see A, B, C, D, E, and F. So our function is working up here. And you can see the way this works is we are passing in the tree. So take this tree, pass this in, and if the tree has no children in it, we return. So here's our guard clause here. And then if it has a child, we run, we, we call tree.children.foreachchild. So tree.children for each child. So this has one child. So we're gonna run this right here. Console log out tree recursive plus child name. So console log out this right here, the child name, tree dot children dot name and then from here we're going to pass in the child to see if it has any children so from here we're calling it on itself does this have any children it has no children so then it returns up and we're going to call the next child so at the level this is at you can see it prints out A, B, C, D, E, and F. And that is the order it's going to run. So when we first pass in the tree, it's gonna loop through the tree's children. 
So what are the tree's children? Well, we have children right here. We have one child here. We have one child here. So it's gonna, we just ran through this one. It has no children. So now we're coming and we're, we're coming back up and we're running here and we're going through all of this, this children for here before we move on down to here. So you can see at this point, B is gonna return all of the children. So B, so we run in to B and we throw it into our function up here. Let's close this up so we can have this on one screen. So if B dot children dot length is equal to zero, it is not, it has two. So we skip all this. So for each child, for each child that we have in here, console log tree recursive plus child name. So here we're gonna go through here and okay, okay, this is the child name is B or sorry, C. So we're gonna print that and then we're gonna call it again. This has no children. So we're calling it on C now. Does C have any children? No, it does not. Tree dot children dot length equals zero. So we just return here and then we go through the next item. D, does D have any children? No, it does not. So passing in D, no children, we return there. So now we're down to E. So E, where it's gonna return after it goes through all the children, okay? So children down here has F and that's gonna print out after E. So E comes in, says, okay, print out the name, call it on itself again, and so on and so forth. And you can see here, I have the order of all the letters that it's gonna print out. So if I change any of these, if I change this to Z, let's see if I can't get this to run. You can see, this should do it. Now it prints this out in order as this order here. It's gonna print out all the name and then go through the children and then the name and then go through the children and then the name and go through the children. And that's essentially a simple way to look at recursion and how it works inside of a tree. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time.